The brothers Binder, the important thing we saw there, Brad and Darren, is team. Teamwork, team, 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 those people in the paddocks making sure that those tyres are warm enough, that they've got enough gas to make it throughout the race. And that plays a pivotal role in the successes. So, do you know, with, uh, without every single one of those people there, it would never have been possible. So, uh, it's crazy to look back and look and see it all again a year later. But, um, you know, it's, it's incredible, you know, the, especially when racing so tight. The team make a huge difference, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm so grateful to every single one of them for giving me the opportunity they did, and and when we managed to come out on top, I really couldn't thank them enough. But uh, hope for more days like that to come. Yeah, put into context, Darren. I mean, you you now joining a a a team that is that kind of well, it's le it's led a champion. I'm not going to harp on a champion, but again, it's the importance of, 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 of not trying to you know, swipe the team that you left, but you're going to a team, obviously now, expectations from yourself and from the team is to perform, and yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, if you look at their history, they've produced so many champions, and uh, I mean, seeing what they did with my brother and that, that's definitely where I wanted to be for next year. I feel that this year, I was able to run at the front, and obviously... We had a little, uh, little mistakes here yeah. and there, but I think with them working together, we can, can do good things. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the fact that both of you got, well, I'm not quite sure whether you've got, you got a scar underneath there, but I know that you, <laughs> bro you broke a, thumb early, a finger earlier this year, yes? Yeah, I uh, broke my right thumb in July in the, in the summer break, uh, well, our oh, winter break. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I broke my right thumb in July training, and then... Uh, it took six weeks to heal up, and then now at the you last race... You missed a couple of races as well, didn't you? Yeah, I missed, uh, I've missed five races this year for that. And um, the last race in Valencia and on the Saturday in the FP3, I crashed and I tore the ligaments in my other thumb. <laughs> yeah, well, your brother's got two scars, <laughs> both arms. What's going on at the Binder house? <laughs> you guys must have been rough kids. <laughs> I've been in the wars, Lakey. Been in the wars, yeah. but um, it's all good. I mean, my arms are fixed now. We Hopefully, well, they're not quite at 100% yeah. yet, but... Um, by the time we start next year's season, I plan to be fitter and stronger than ever and hope for a good year. Uh, what is it like? I mean, when you, I want to say when you're at the peak of, 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 of performance, as, as it were, and then something like that happens, when you know that the team is dependent on you to deliver. What is it like, Darren? Let's start with you. I mean, yours is fairly recent as well. Yeah, well, I mean, basically, there's not much you can do. You've got to train and you've got to give you 100% when you train and... Things like that can happen, you know. Sometimes you make mistakes. And training is not just about getting on a bike and zip, zip, you know, zipping away. There's, there's, there's intensive training that goes behind it. That's it, you know. You, anything could happen. You're cycling, you're running, you're riding motard, motocross, whatever, you know. There's lots of opportunities <laughs> to get hurt, actually. <laughs> but you have to do it, you know. Yeah, and yourself, uh, uh, Brad, I mean, of course, um, again, with you coming back, I think... We were just discussing it now just before we went to, uh, uh, during the break that when the break happened, you were nominated for Sapkin Sports Awards uh, 2016. In fact, this year as well, do you know that you were up for another nomination? You just missed out for Sports Star of the Year. Really? This yeah. year? This year you were, you made top, you were top seven, I think. You just literally missed out for the really? top five, yes. Oh, uh, geez, I had no idea. Mm. I knew about last year. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I was in <laughs> hospital, so I didn't get to experience it, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, another uh, having that in the future again would be quite cool. But again, it's the performances that, um, and, and the fact that South Africans are appreciating and knowing exactly what you're doing. Because I mean, I think the list for this year was 25 athletes across all South African sports, and you literally made you know uh, the top 10. Future endeavors. I know that you want to crash that motor too and move up to the big boys. That's it. You know, in the the ideal situation would be start next year, um, have an incredible year. Hopefully. I really, really want to fight for the World Championship. You know, I wake up every morning and that's my goal. I'm, I'm going to do everything possible to, to make sure I'm in a position where I can fight for the World Championship next year. And yeah, I mean, if all goes according to plan, I, uh, I should be in MotoGP the following year. And uh, it's a bit crazy when you think about it because, you know, that's... If you're racing against Valentino Ross, you might be a bit, a bit uh, scary yeah. at the beginning if that happens. <laughs> yeah. Darren, I mean, obviously for you too... I mean, there's not. There's, uh, you can't say there's something holding you back. It cannot be. I mean, your brother's shown that it's possible, and obviously, obviously, you got goals as well. I oh, know, 100 percent. I mean, moving into this team, I feel that now we we can be a serious threat to to do something to fight for the world championship. And if I could do that next year, or even 
come close, you know, to be up in the front. And then, yeah, my goal is to move up to Moto2 for the following year, once Braz moved to, to GP, so... Psychologically, does it play um, at the back of your mind that um, as a team, does it play against you know the, the people you race with? Um, in particular, with Moto3, that you guys, what tactically do you guys shunt some of the dr uh, races <laughs> off the track just so your brothers come through? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no dirty tricks. Mm, not really. Yeah, I think uh, you'll land up in a little bit of trouble over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are staying in Spain. Any Spanish words yet? Spanish words. Yeah. Oh, Spanish is still. Well, mine especially is. Uh, I really don't know much Spanish at all, you know. I'm quite lucky because where we live in Spain, there's actually a lot of British people, so... Uh, no Sathas, though? Oh, absolutely none, <laughs> you know. I, if there were any, I think I'd hang out to them all the time, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. the only English I get there is British. <laughs> <laughs> well, Darren and Brad, thank you very much for joining us. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. We'd love to have you much longer. You leave next year, yes? Yeah. So enjoying some of the sun. Well, it's not. It's been raining for the past couple of days. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Brad and Darren, thank you very much for joining us. Brothers Binda, Moto2 and Moto3 champion and champion to be soon. <laughs> yeah, wishing the guys the best of luck. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of the show. I'd like to continue this interview. So much more to speak about. The fact that Valentino Rossi is on the horizon for Brad. Get in touch with our sports live at SABC.co.za at SABC Sports Live. Our Twitter handle you can also log on to www.sabc.co.za forward slash news and follow at SABC News Online. Stay with us at the top of the hour. Your world continues with more news. You're watching SABC News Channel, Africa's news leader. Bye bye.